Greetings Entities and Guardians, my name is Hyperheims, and welcome to Good Boy. Now, I barely know anything about this game, I found it on itch.io when looking up horror, and apparently this was a part of a short horror game jam for 2020, which is a, you know, horror game jam for only two minute horror games, I guess? I doubt it's for games only made in two minutes, but no, I guess it's like games that are just, you know, around the runtime of two minutes, but I don't know much about this. All I know is that it says, a short horror game made for the 2020 two minute horror jam made with Unity. All art and sound assets are completely original. And the default controls are WASD to move, space to return, to interact, or escape to pause. And it was made by Long Neck Turtle and Syntic. So I will leave a link to this game down in the description. But with that being said, let's just jump straight into it. Hopefully, uh, the sound is good. Uh, kind of slow, but it's not that, that bad. Not bad. Look at that doggy. Your dog, Jasper, is lying on the bed, playing with a tennis ball. Pet Jasper? Yes. Jasper seems extremely happy to be getting your attention. Oh, the wagging the tail. Okay. Kind of slow, I'll admit. It's your bookshelf. It holds books. Read a book? Yes. Turns out it's actually a wardrobe. No books here. No. You decide that reading sounds like too much effort. Aww. I wouldn't mind a good read as long as it's something I'm very interested in. It's a light switch. Flip the switch? Yes! Oh, this looks actually pretty peaceful. I will say, I'm eerily slow. It's a houseplant. You should probably buy some more fertilizer for it soon. Are there sounds? Hold on, let me just... No, there's not. It's it's not even the game's muted. It's literally, the sound is just at 15. Huh. Anyway, it's a trash can. Look inside it. Yes, it's filled with trash. You're not sure why you expected anything different. Well, I don't know. Maybe something on my, you know, desk could have accidentally stumbled in there. And then would have been thrown out. And then I would have never seen it again. That would have been bad. Uh, it's your alarm clock. It's 8.38 p.m. I, I had to look in real life to see if it was 8, 8.38, but no. By the time I'm recording this, it's like 1.08. Uh, well, before I look at the computer, which I think is very important, it's Jasper's bed. It was really expensive, but he always just sleeps on your bed anyway. I mean, if they always sleep on bed, why not just sell it? It's a window looking into the backyard. The gentle orange glow of the setting sun is shining through it. That's nice. Can I interact with just the wall? No. Alright, it's your computer chair. It squeaks loudly any time you move it, or you move on it, much to the amusement of your friends. <laughs> Alright, should I interact with door or computer? I'm going to interact with the computer first. It's your computer. You spend many hours a day weaving on, out on it. <laughs> Am I an anime fan? I think I'm an anime fan. Probably. Well, I guess I got no other option than to just go to the door. I think I've interacted with everything that I could. I could say no to petting the dog, but who would do that? Wait, can I just interact with the bed? Go to sleep for the night? No. I want to check the door. It's your bedroom door. It's a bit late to be heading out tonight. Well, then I guess I'll just fall asleep. Alright. Is anyone here? Okay. I know it was hard to hear. Let me just raise the volume just a little bit. You're not quite sure why you woke up. But if you didn't hear that, I think I heard some sort of footsteps. And also just, I think the door was uh, kind of shaken. You're not sure why you woke up. You feel very uneasy. You turn to Jasper to try to put yourself at ease. You can't see him very well in the darkness, but you reach out to pet him. Though he doesn't stir, you feel him lick your hand in response. You feel a bit more relaxed now. You hear a weird scratching noise. This must be what woke you up. It's hard to hear, but let me, let me just raise that for you. I'm, I'm scared for any abrupt loud noises, I swear. You think it's coming from the door? I'm not interested in looking at the door right now. 
Jasper is sleeping soundly. He doesn't seem to be bothered enough by the noise to wake up. The display on your alarm clock seems to be off. Maybe the power went out? Oh, great. Jasper's bed. As usual, Jasper is just sleeping on your bed instead. Grand. Dim moonlight is shining into your room through the window. Oh, this is really scary. It's not scary, per se, but it's just very ominous. Computer chair. For some reason, you feel paranoid when looking at it from your bed at night. As if you might wake up to see someone sitting in it. Jeez, that's terrifying. It's your computer chair. It won't turn on. Or am I, why did I call that my computer chair? Great, it probably is a power outage because the clock is off and the computer's off. Trash can? Something feels off about it for some reason. I hate this so much. It's your bookshelf. You can barely see it in the darkness. Plant? It's your house plant. Sometimes when you wake up in the middle of the night, its shape can seem distorted by the shadows. And it looks like... It looks vaguely human-like. Turn the lights on. Nothing happened. The power must have gone out. Can I go back to sleep? You should really figure out what's making that sound first. Oh, I'm gonna hate this. I'm gonna hate this. I'm gonna hate this. No. Okay, the dog just moved. Well, actually, let me check on Jasper again before I technically check the door. Jasper is sleeping soundly. He doesn't seem to be bothered enough. Oh, okay, okay. Well, the scratching stopped, so I don't need to worry about it, right? I guess I have no other choice. Dog? Jasper? Oh... What are you doing out here, boy? I thought you were sleeping in my room. On my bed? Ah. Uh. Oh my gosh. That's it. It's just oh my oh. Oh, that was so freaky. There was like no jump scare, I don't think, at least don't just abruptly pull up a jump scare, I swear. Don't like do a jump scare of a plumbing dog up in my face, I swear. Don't do it. Or is that just it? No, that's just it. Okay. That was so freaky on a different level because it didn't have to rely on, like, music. It didn't have to rely on, like, you know, like, spooky monster, technically. But, like, it was just so scary because it kind of focused on that, like, that dwindling fear dwindling dwindling fear that you would have whenever it's like late at night and like the back of your mind and like the fears start teaming up just to get to your brain and everything in your room starts to look terrifying like not even joking like everything in your room like how how it was described was really good on how people can have that fear like you know looking at the computer chair like you're scared to see that at some point someone else is going to be in it uh you know how the plant makes it look like it's some sort of actual figure which i've had that feeling before and it is not fun it's really scary i've had some thoughts where like sometimes something out of the corner of my eye was like you know an actual person so i had to you know sleep with the lights on which fun fact i always do because i hate that feeling i'd rather just sleep knowing that i'm safe yes i am a baby plug boy but you know what who cares i'd rather be safe than sorry at the absolute maximum and end up like that guy, where I was actually sleeping with a murderer. Probably murderer. Shadow? Demon? Who knows? I'm just more curious how they got the dog to get out. Oh my gosh, that freaky thing licked my hand. Eh. But okay. That was a really good game. I gotta give it to him. I see... I think I saw that this game was like 5 stars on this style. Or itch.io or whatever you call it. And you know what? It deserves it. Because honestly, that just gave me some good chills. Like, it was terrifying. Uh, but with that being said, if you did enjoy this video, then please be sure to leave a like on it. And also share it with your friends for more horror game content. And if you enjoy my content in general, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel? And if you haven't yet, or you want to, then be sure to hit the bell icon next to the, subscri ah, the subscribe button to receive all my notifications on this YouTube channel in the near future. 
And last but certainly not least, why not check out my merchandise in the description? I'm not forcing you to buy anything, but there might be something interesting, you know, in that shop that you might be interested in. But above all else, I will see you entities and guardians in the next video. Hail the hype news!